it starts back to double zero. So, for me, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. See, I can clear that, hit that, hit that. Comes again off that bang, bang, poke. One, two, three. So, again, one. One, one, two, two. Yeah, go ahead, break yeah. Right? Three, hit, and double zero off of that. So a lot of different things, you know, coming into one, two, one, two. You can just throw that out of the wing and bait that hook. You see? So it's about a little bit of a positional alignment. Yeah. So, and like uh, so one, two, two, that comes up. See, I'm stepping back for that. Bang, I come in. See, oh, whatever it works. Come on, so right here, bang, take that light hand. Now you're hitting the fulcrum and there's the release. And you're rolling out to the side. That's cool. All that. Yeah. 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 But you move like, but you move like this. I'm not him. <laughs> I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy you're looking for. <laughs> I want to break out my puppet figure again. <laughs> A redo. Don't you show the switch to the left hand again? So I'm just doing the set one. There you go. There's a rotation. You can come right nice. off of that. Nice. 3D. Nice. So it doesn't matter as long as I get to this on one side. So we just kind of. From there, it's like whatever you want to do. Yeah, you have to contact the other side of the other side. Nice. It's like when you're a kid and they're doing the freaking double dust. I'm going to check it out and figure out. The jump rope, right? The jump rope, you're like, I don't know. Where'd it go? Yeah, right? Does that shit hurt? Go ahead.
shot going into the thrust going into that shot. Double zero again, double zero again. Oh, just a single one. Oh, it was just one there. Okay, Cole, let's change this way and put that thing, put that together. Yeah, true. So if this is your center line, you're shifting off. I throw the empty out, throw the foot back, and one, two, wherever you see, that's the nice thing about the silent fighter. I take that lead hand, take the second hand. Lead hand, take the second hand, take the second hand, take the face. Cut up through the middle, go back to Largo. Okay? So, probably do a courteous thing here. So I hate to humiliate you like that in front of the public, make you hold my sticks, <laughs> hold my water, then slap you around. That's classic, <laughs> classic stuff though. Seems reasonable. You know, Largo works well too. So, if you're working off your Largo line, one, two, three, four, clear the line, hit, come back in, poke, then shift, shift, shift. So you take each each tool or each weapon, I'll take the first weapon out, second weapon out, take the second weapon out, go into the head, come back to that first weapon, go into the head. So should be deviating distance and range, that type of thing. Zone in again, take that, go into a bait, attack by draw. If you don't attack by draw, you're still gonna get the hit. Then shifting, 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 easy to move to almost anywhere else and kind of do a armor base uh, targeting, okay? Just like that. Let's try it together. Move up a little bit. I'll be out here. So, double zero, one, two, three, four. I like throwing my hand out there as an attack by draw. Then step back, target that hand. Hit. Double zero. Maybe even a push, a poke, abanico. See, stepping back. Back to double zero. Attack by draw. Pop, hit. Double zero. Crouch load. Abanico. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. Live hand should be interactive, giving you balance, giving you symmetry. One, two, three, four, hit, hit. On your actions, you could think of one, two, intersect here to get to that zero. Okay, so you could go in to the zero, out to the zero. So you're going into the thrust, into the thrust, All right? Thrust leads to slash, thrust leads to slash. Cut up, hit, again, if you're hitting high, Maybe you block that go a little high and you're back in. Barrier removal or a hook or a bait and get to that hit. Oh, abanico. Maybe you missed the abanico, so you're going to come back and pick it up on a four beats. Or behind the head, cut down, behind the head, cut down. So if I come through, I'm back here cutting through. Part of that zero, just closing variable ranges. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Okay, guy, can I see it, Rob? You got it? Uh, I think so. Okay, move up a little bit. Let me see that. Zero, double zero, cut up. Step back to the man. Yep. You feel it. Yeah. Pretty close.
close, pretty close. Yeah. We'll tighten that up. Who else got it? Josh, you got it? <coughs> yeah, almost. Yeah, so. Double zero. So. Double zero. Tied up. High back in. Double zero. Up. Cross to Havanico. Yeah. yeah, you guys are integrating things in there, but that's okay. <laughs> but before we get through, we want it pure. Well, Scott. Colonel got it? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. All right. Dave, you got it? Yeah. Come on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Lance, you got that? Two, three, four, five, six, and two, three, four, five. Yep, that looks good, man. You just need to give it, you know, actually just get some extension out there on your actions. All right. You got it, Sean? Okay. Double zero, double zero, cut up, hit, double zero, straight thrust, one, two, three. That's it. Yeah? Kind of, sorry. Double zero, double zero, cut up, hit. Double zero outside, that's it, bump, three. So, yeah, so one of the things when, you, when you're looking, you know, it doesn't hurt to add that extra hand because you're already right there in the switch space. So when you're coming into this, it could be that your live hand's going to be in a better position. So everything is subjected to improvisation according to where you are and, you know, positional alignment to your opponent, distance range, tempo timing, intent, you know, if you're if you're closing, you, you've poked and you close it into the abanico, now you can get your hands on him, moving him to where he's blocking another individual, that type of thing. So, you know, strategically is all you're looking at is the versatility of the set pattern and then being able to de deviate from it and utilize the techniques within it. You got it? Oh, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. It's right there, man. It's right. And you got to feel it. You, when you do this, you must think Filipino. <laughs> All right. Let's do it a few more times and uh, focus on it slow. So, I mean, just in general, you know, you're, you're thinking you're keeping your footwork movement and you're stepping in. One, two. So, how, how many ways can you... Break it down, and then you're kind of, kind of ready. So, as you practice it, you're kind of going, "I just need that movement." Double zero backhand consult, bitch slap, right? So, if we're, if we're, are you gonna have one stick? If I'm going here, I'm going one, two. As his left hand comes in, bang, bang, see, ah, right there, boom. You see, so there's a lot of elements with. Closing, you're going in, you're going double zero here, which could be uh, stick and straight punch. Uh, straight punch to my face, bitch. Uh, that's it. Uh, you're still right there. Okay, this comes straight up, moves, or it's either moving or it's hammer fisting in the same time. Okay, so but staying within the context of the set. One, two, three, four. See, that could come up. There's a cut, there's a hit. Now you're back into nice. where you apply that out of just using it. Okay. So as Belton hit me one, I'll take out his hand. Two, he swings, I'm gonna step back. Doesn't matter what I hit there. It could be that I hit that and move it out of the way, but don't hit the guy, bang. And he recovers, I duck down and go one. To close. Now I'm moving on. Now I'm moving in here. You see, thinking about taking Rob for a ride. Right? So you can really move with it. But I think that's the beauty of even just making it static. One, two. See, I, on the double zeros, I do a replacement step. Mm -hmm. You get that. To where that feels pretty good. Live hands working with me. I'm pulling this shoulder out, pulling this shoulder back to give me less target access, plus give me better spring when I'm coming out of this 
the close or the distance. So a lot of pendulum step there. No, a lot of replacement step. Crouch spring. You see now, you come out of that thrust, you could easily go into six and seven, and then build your abanico off that. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Here, let's try it slow. <coughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So when we're breaking it down into six, but it works good in fours. One, two, three, four. Like if we're doing single Somali, head or lead hand, leg, second hand, leg, figure eight, figure eight, you see? So we could tie those um, combinations into four beats or start your sequence so that the cadence stays the same. And if we're doing double stick, you could just say, okay, four counts, four counts, one, two, three, four, one, 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 that takes four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then go into your figure eights, one, two, four double zeros, one, two, three, four double zero low. Banda, banda. You see, so <coughs> add it up and just make it part of your free flow, freestyle flowing, as opposed to, oh, this is a set. You know, a lot of times, and, and kind of like the fact that you call them a set as opposed to a form. Oh, a form has no value. Okay, let me see you do a jab cross. Okay, <laughs> let me see you do a jab cross. Okay, so something's wrong with your trajectory line here. Let me see your overhand right. <laughs> oh, you do try the foot too. No, I'm, that, that's cold. That's me. I know, but there's, there's a good story to that though, right? I'm a stylized eight-year-old boxer at the boys' club. Dad's had the pads, you know, black and white TV. Probably that big, borrowed from the neighbor. <laughs> but uh, with a lampshade, a leg, and a, you know. But anyway, um, so I'm sparring. I'm getting beat up is what I'm getting beat up. Because little Donnie P is with the crooked eye over here. You can't tell which who he's hitting you with. You know? Got that hag red eye, right? But uh, so he he's closing in on me and he goes right into overhand windmill. Wasn't until years later after I'd been exposed to some of the other martial arts systems that I realized he was a dedicated Troy Foot practitioner. Long fist. <laughs> So, wasn't wasn't windmilling. That was classical <laughs> choy foot. <laughs> Long fist. All right. So, one, five, six, one, two. Nothing wrong with that. You're going down in there. Once you go out to the dirt, you can see a nice flick up of the dirt. And again, you know, not all. Um, <coughs> Battle sticks are round. So you have something like this, anything you hit, you're gonna break and cut. And anytime you go down to the ground, you have that ability to throw shit, even if it's dust, dirt, or sand. You know. It's kind of that old uh, theory of you know you got two guys hounding you, something having you in the wrong bar. Oh, can I get a shot of tequila? Salt shaker, <laughs> you know, salt goes in one fist, spray that tequila and pop somebody in the noggin with the other one, throw the salt shaker. Yeah. You know, so you set your weapons up accordingly. So double zero, one, two, three, four, cut up and hit and double zero and poke and abanico. All right, cool. So let's move from there. Go a little bit backwards on that. Well, actually, let's do some loads. So we're going to be here. We're going to load one, 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 
And as you load it, and go into the hit. You know, that type of thing. So there's different elements that you can do with that step through. You know, you're here like that, that's a nut shot. Oof. You know, as you're coming through, now you're in position. Now you can link that to any of the other hitting, right? So the step through is kind of important. If you look at it, it's also closing into cruzada and you're going into that type of movement. So if you've gone through, step through, and there's your arm drag coming right out of having attachment, you start going into your arm drag. So the professor would teach occasionally the empty hand connections to the uh, stick. John. Yes, sir. So off his lead hand, second hand, and hit. Now, is it a hit or is it a point of attachment so I can go back to the forehand? So if you look at that, one, two, three, I'll take that, four, five. You see, if this hand comes in, there's my outside wall. If that hand comes in, bang, there's my inside wall or point of a, attachment, that type of thing. As I shift out, uh, there you go. There's my roof. <coughs> Where's my shield? I'll take that. You see, as I clear that, his punch comes through. I use that as attachment. That becomes the lock. You see? So trapping hands on the first three, four and five become an issue of positional control outside wall, inside wall with hitting. Right? I fade and bait the hook. I go to roof, go inside. I step back, go ahead, I'm right here, and I could go right inside. If you look at Crusada Form 2 then, I'm taking this and I'm stepping through on the opposing line of application. But it's still Stick Form 1, you know, just linked together. Dr. Can you show the translation way. again? So, pardon? Can, you, can you kill him again with the sword? Kill the, trans again. the translation? That you Two. mentioned with a with that sword. Oh, yeah, the translation. Okay, for it. I don't want to attack an unarmed man. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'd prefer that. <laughs> but that, that would be cool. So one yes. clears that. Mm -hmm. There's a the cut. Oh. There's a cut, and you can see stepping in and going to two, and going into three. Yes. So, but it's there in the spot of the god too. So you have to kind of. And hopefully we'll we'll get outside and we'll do some more stuff. But I'm still uh, kind of suffering the repercussions of the chemo. It gives you thin skin. And I just caught a puno the other night and it peeled the flesh off. So gotta duct tape it up. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's put that together. Figure eight. How's the form one? One, two three and four five and an outside wall and inside roof shield load that weapon other, other way yeah figure eight now just step in and cut up with me step in there you go and i want you to step forward and turn doesn't matter where we turn figure eight step in and cut up turn figure eight nice. you see so you can make it a two-man set we're not worried about the 180 step as much as we are just engaging our training partner, okay? Just to keep the activation of movement connected, all right? So let's, uh, let's put those together. We'll do the uh, first one, which is just strike B1. I'll double zero. One, two, three, four. I cut up. And then one, two is double zero. Three, four, block that. Don't care. Step back, figure eight, one, two, high hit. And that's it. I'll go outside wall, inside wall, roof, shield, and circle. Cut down, cut down. Step in with me, cut up, turn. Cut down, nice. cut down, step up. Turn. Okay, so stuff like that. That's just putting those three simple sets together and giving you movement and mobility really has nothing to do with anything other than he overhead attacks me. I go in like that, I hit him and I hit him, right? Now where am I at? See, so <laughs> you see the mobility, that how much space and distance you can draw 
and it becomes an issue of mm, deception. Bang! Boom! I got you, bitch. Oh, I got two sticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's too fucking corny. <laughs> I did see some. There was a little clip I put up on Facebook. It was a pretty good little article. And it showed clips where it started out with Speakman beating kind of a tire dummy. And uh, even showed Von Dom with double sticks in his hand. He wasn't doing anything. He just conga beating. Conga beating. <laughs> you know, that's okay. But it showed sticks. Showed how, how much Filipino martial arts are used in even uh, Jet Li had double sticks going on. Not that China don't have double stick methods, but you know, most of it can easily be attributed to Filipino stuff. All right, so let's go ahead, put those together. Set one, set two, and we'll move on to set three. Go ahead. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's go through that set. I'll get my lighter stick. Everything's got to end. All right. So, salutation, ready position. And step into the thrusting hit, barrier removal hit, fulcrum load. Step through. And we'll go into the second set. Okay, so step in, hit. Barrier removal, back cut into the zero. So by, by following your stick as you go through, follow that energy, then as you come up, that's where you get the knee. If you don't follow the energy, back cut and leave this forward, you don't have the drive up to the classical stroke. See, and then, then your hand's right here. Okay, so up, loading. And movement is going to be based on where you really want to be. Here, pop. Sinking. Okay. So bring your classical energy out in that. Find that cadence. And just make it work, okay? Let's go. I ain't got this. That abanico's jacking me up. That oh. double action. I can't catch that one. Because I know you're coming You're coming off of this one, and you go bop, bop, bop. You're coming Back off this of way. This. Oh, yeah, that one. Then you're going to go right to that. Right. Okay, so from the interior wrap, now go backhand, forehand, upwards. There you go. Now, and then you're coming down. Oh, I didn't know that was part of it. All right. There's a step. Nice. Right. You're saying this is where that knee comes. Yeah. Because you step back this way and then load, load, load. Fulcrum load. Release. Release. Open knee go. Release. Bang, bang. That's it. Step back on that one.